Hello everyone. Today I will be talking about zoonosis or zoonotic diseases. What is zoonotic disease? The disease which can be transmitted from human to the animal and from the animal to the human. These diseases can be bacterial, viral or parasitic. Today I will be talking about parasitic zoonosis. So Based upon reservoir host, parasitic zoonosis can be classified into anthropozoonosis, zooanthroposis, and amphizoonosis. Firstly, we will be talking about anthropozoonosis. As the name indicates, anthropo. Anthropo means men. So, in the zoonosis, the disease is transmitted from the lower vertebrate to the men. Here, the lower vertebrate act as a reservoir. The example of anthropozoonosis is trichomoniasis. The next is zooanthroposis. As the name indicates, zoo means animal. So, here in zooanthroposis, the man is acting as a reservoir host and is transmitting the disease to the lower vertebrates. Here the lower vertebrates then act as an intermediate host or vector for the disease transmission. The example of zooanthroposis is the parasite Hymenolepis nana and Cystosoma mansoni. The next is amphizoonosis. In amphizoonosis, the disease is shared between both the men and the lower vertebrate and they both can be infected by this disease. The example of amphizoonosis is salmonellosis. The next classification of parasitic zoonosis is based upon the type of life cycle and on the basis of the type of life cycle the zoonosis, parasitic zoonosis can be classified into direct zoonosis, cyclozoonosis, metazoonosis and saprozoonosis. The first is direct zoonosis. In direct zoonosis, the infected vertebrate host transmit the disease to the susceptible host which is which can also be a vertebrate and this disease is transmitted via direct contact between the animals or by any vehicle or by any mechanical vector. Taking the example of scabies, scabies is transmitted by direct contact, by skin to skin contact. The other example is trichinellosis or trichinosis, which is transmitted by the consumption of the infected pork. And the other example is amoebosis. The next type of zoonosis is cyclozoonosis. In cyclozoonosis, there is no invertebrate host involved and the life cycle of the parasite is completed in only the vertebrate host it, and it can be more than one vertebrate host. And the example of cyclozoonosis is cestodes parasites such as teniosis and echinococcosis. They can have more than one host, but there will be no involvement of any invertebrate host. Such type of zoonosis where no invertebrate is involved is cyclozoonosis. The next zoonosis is metazoonosis. In metazoonosis, here the invertebrate transmit the disease. And in this invertebrate host, the parasite multiply and develop. 
such zoonosis is termed as metazoonosis and after the development the disease is transmitted to the host the example of metazoonosis is cystosomosis and leishmaniosis the next type of zoonosis is saprozoonosis as the name indicate sapro is the involvement of a non living development site or reservoir in the saprozoonosis the disease transmission involve the vertebrate host and a non animal development site or reservoir and this reservoir can be food plant or soil and from these the disease the parasite can be transmitted the example of saprozoonosis is histoplasmosis and meiosis hope so your concepts will be clear and if you really like this video please like share and subscribe thank you